It's your time to shine with presenter search on three and Orbit Gum. to present to search on three, the Expresso edition. And of course, tonight is gonna to be an absolutely incredible night because we are revealing something really, really, really special. We're finding out who is going to make this studio part of their lives and of course, who's gonna stand out in the spotlight. Now, I've, over the past few weeks, hopefuls from across South Africa waited in line at McAfee to audition for the first round judges. The most talented were given a call back audition in front of the main judging panel. And tonight, we reveal your top 10 finalists as chosen by our main judging panel. But first, let's welcome our judges, Roger Good, Tando Tabeta, and Dr. Musa Umzombeni. <laughs> judges, looking <laughs> absolutely fabulous. You as well, huh? so gorgeous. Tando, yes, honey, bring out the legs, girl. I mean, spring, hello, <laughs> hi. Spring. <So> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Roger, I'm going to start off with you. Of course, you've seen the best of what South Africa has to offer. And uh, you've been at all of the auditions, Cape Town, Durban, Johannesburg. How do you feel about tonight? Are you excited? And of course, what do you expect? Well, firstly, this we could hardly call this work. We've been like having the best time. Yeah. We've been like laughing. It's job. And killing out the yard. And you get paid for it. No, yeah, it's yeah. the best. <laughs> and then uh, just, I mean, you can see backstage. There are... No, they there, can't see. They are, well, you're going to see. There are there are individuals here you you could literally just plunk onto the set here that could take over. They're, it's really wicked. They're oh, brilliant. Well, we yeah. are so excited. Of the thousands that entered the competition, now only 10 will remain. Who made the most of their time to shine? Well, let's meet our first top 10 finalist. Dean Woodman from Cape Town is a consumer marketing specialist who spends most of his free time at the gym with his buddies. My name is Dean Woodman. I work in marketing, uh, specifically focused on consumer marketing. I started all the way from the bottom. Grew up a uh, family of five, grew up in Mitchell's Plain. Dad died at a young age, 19 years old, and you had to put on your big boy pants. And I've always said uh, to my mom, you know, one day I will be great, one day I will be big. And that's why I pushed myself in the marketing division as hard as I have each and every single day presenting and live presenting as well. I don't know anything about the industry, but it's about you, right? So if you stay true to yourself and you know who you are and you don't have to change who you are for anyone and people like that and that comes through, then that's a win-win. So my friends and I are extremely competitive when it comes to gym and when it comes to sport. It's a competitive edge that we have and it's definitely the competitive edge that I'll take with me to present the search. We're actually the ones that pushed him to do it. He lost a bit, uh, it was a soccer game. So the bit was if the team loses, he has to do the presenter search, which was happening at the time. My best feature has to be my smile. I've got a smile and I like smiling. I like talking through my smile and uh, it's got to be the personality as well. So I'd say smile and personality. <laughs> All they say is flex and smile. Cut. To be honest, he has the X factor, he has the personality, he's got the charisma, he's got the attitude. He's made for this. You look really good, eh? <laughs> After all, you must have flexed and smile, right? I only think it's free that we all do a flex and smile. Flex and smile. Let's give a flex and smile. Come, come. Let's go. Okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations. All of you. Those abs. Those will take you places. I can't believe it. It was surreal. I mean, when he started coming to me and he quotes flex and smile. I'm confused because this is not the script. And I had to focus for a bit before I actually realized it says <laughs> you made it, which was, it was amazing, absolutely amazing. I'm gonna win present the search by being true to myself. Uh, show them the personality, show them the charisma, and show them the smile. That's it, you know, flex and smile. <laughs> Mr. Flex and Smile made it. Dean Whitman, everybody, well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Leanne. Wow. Listen, what was that feeling like when you saw your friends remove the t-shirts and said, you made it? Listen, I was confused because firstly, Ibi would never take his t-shirt off. Yeah. And I wanted a vest and, a, and they said no. And then when they took it off, it took a moment to focus, you know, and then I saw 
presenter search, I was like, oh my goodness. And I just dropped. Oh my <laughs> word. Well, let's chat to the judges. Roger Good, what do you think of Dean? Dean, <laughs> I'm Harper's <laughs> favorite. <laughs> I remember the notes we made about you. You were South Africa's favorite. I also remember, if I'm not mistaken, you hadn't had a lot of time on TV right. and you seem to have this like natural energy. You uh, also were really cool when you did the, the you know, you take your shirt off, you, you were under, you, you were by, caught by surprise and you handled it really well on set. I thought you were excellent. Yeah? Thanks, thanks. Oh, well, there we go. Dean has made it through to the top 10. Let's find out who else made it through to the top 10 finalists. Everybody has got the morning coffee and the energies are skyrocketing. Everybody's excited and everybody's ready. For primary school teacher Zimpiwe Harrison, being a presenter is a chance to share his passion for education with a bigger audience. Go get them, Tiger. Go get them, Tiger. Zimpiwe has got what it will take to be an espresso presenter. Even considering uh, the fact that it's an early morning viewing, I think uh, he definitely will fit, fit in because he seems to be a morning person. <laughs> My only concern now is as you start absenting yourself yeah. and it starts impacting on teaching and learning. You know, I always speak about curriculum coverage. Yeah. At this point, I don't know when I'm going to be approached, when they're going to tell me that I am through to the next round of the competition. What's the next round? We're waiting for them to announce the top 10. I've made some contingency plans. Mm -hmm. It seems like I'm going to have to get a replacement for you because I've just been informed that you are in the top 10 in present. No! No! No, what are you doing? <laughs> so, wait. Well done. <laughs> You're kidding. Am I ready for the top 10? I'm ready for the top two. <laughs> what? <laughs> top 10. I've got good news. And I've got bad news. The bad news is that you could be losing a teacher. Now, what's the good news? I am in the top 10 for the presenter search on three. Thank you, thank you. Now that Simpoy Harrison and Kiza is in the top 10, guys, we're about to see magic. We're about to see the next level of presenting authenticity, energy, and fun. More and more fun. Fun, fun. Yeah. Here Harrison. Woo! Yes. Oh, Woo! man. Man, thank you. Listen, your name sounds like it needs to be in right. lights. Right. I don't know. It sounds it, like a star's it name. It does. It totally does, man. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted my name to just be shining. And when you say that, oh. it's music to my ears. Are your students proud of you? They are. They, they're really proud of me, but I'm like proud of them because, yeah. dude, those kids love me so much and Aww. I love them too, and it's just awesome. I love it. Well, clearly our judges loved you too. Yeah. Tando, how do you feel about I our remember Simbue so well. Yeah. Uh, he, was, he was the karate ninja, and we gave him those notes, and he literally <laughs> like picked it up very quickly, very relatable. He was able to laugh at himself. I think it'd be a great addition. Oh. Uh, a great addition indeed. And so we've met two of our top 10 finalists, Dean and Simbue, have both impressed press the judges enough to earn a spot. But who else do you think will make it through to the top 10? Let us know on social media and make sure you use the hashtag presenter search on three. We'll see you back after these. Welcome back to the live top 10 reveal on presenter search on three, the Espresso edition. Now at the end of day two in each audition city, one contestant was handpicked by the main judges to progress immediately through to the top 10. Johannesburg based Nathaniel Davids may be a professional comedian, but earning a spot in the next round was no laughing matter. Nathaniel Davids, congratulations! Nathaniel Davids from Rudaput is a professional comedian who has shared the stage with some of the biggest names in the comedy business. When Leanne called my name, absolute disbelief. I, I did not expect it. Um, look man, the top 14, top 15 was, was it's a tight group and I found out that everyone was super competitive and they have some kind of clout, so to make it out of everyone, um, geez, man, that was crazy. I'm still in disbelief, but I'm super excited, man. Make some noise for SA's leading comedic talent, Nathaniel! 
To be a comedian, you work with a live audience, and a live audience lets you know immediately whether you are being authentic or whether you are messing around. You get told immediately whether you are funny or not. You know when they have the poster and they have the names at the top? So it had Mark Lottering, David Cow, and many more. <laughs> my name wasn't on the poster. I had to lie to my Oma. And I had to be like, no Oma, my stage name is and many more. <laughs> yeah. I truly feel that if you're gonna be a TV presenter, you gotta be authentic on, on, on camera. And I think six years of comedy, our South African audience, uh, comedy audience will prepare you to be authentic because they won't embrace you if you're not authentic. <laughs> Quitting my job to give all my time and commitment to, to presenter search was one of the hardest things I've done. No logical person just does that. No logical person takes a leap of faith like that. And mind you, I did that not knowing whether I was going to get a callback with the videos, not knowing whether I was going to get a callback for the first day or the second. I did this way in the beginning. When I sat down with my mom and I had that conversation with her, she was obviously got like a mini heart attack, but um, yeah, she, she said, you know, go for it. Nathaniel has been very confident since uh, his early childhood and he knew exactly what he wanted in life. He's a real opportunist. And when he came and gave me the good news, I was so proud of him. And whoever is out there, look out for this guy because he's here to stay. As long as there's an audience, as long as there's a camera, as long as there's a mic, Nathaniel's ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's and many more! Woo! And many more! Also known as Nathaniel Davis. You yeah, made it. How boom. are you feeling? I'm psyched, man. This is live TV, Lee, yeah. and my word, my machtig. I'm, I'm super happy to be here. Oh, well, we're super happy to have you, judges. Yeah, so uh, I think it was a pretty obvious choice from mm. the whole panel. We really enjoyed his audition. Yeah. We enjoyed how funny he was, how quick he was, how witty he was. So, Nathaniel, Nathaniel, no, Nati, Natizi, what do you want to call yourself? Uh, well done. Well done indeed. Well, he's incredible. There are so many more to meet. Let's find out who made it next to the top 10. Jamie Lee Domberg from Cape Town is a plus-size model and a full-time mom. As a Curve ambassador, she hopes to inspire women to be confident and comfortable in their own skin. Jamie, why are you proud to be a mother? I'm proud to be a mother because it's the most liberating feeling ever. I leave a legacy behind and it gives me purpose and that is why I'm proud. My proudest moment is right now. You've made it on top 10 presenter search on three. Jamie, you made it! <laughs> this has always been the dream. Like, growing up, I remember rehearsing and being in the shower and talking to myself like it was so weird. But it's always been the dream and just to see it come full effect, it's... Overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. I'm very proud because raising Jamie as a single mom, we had ups and downs, as you know, single parent. And I always tell her, no matter your circumstances, no matter where you come from, you can achieve anything your heart desires. And this she's just proved to me today, right now, that she can do anything her heart desires. A mentor who's been there for Jamie throughout her life is Father Patrick Domberg. He's the pastor at her local church and he's also her uncle. I believe it with my whole heart and I'm praying about it and I know this is Jamie's chance and say it that this is a made it. I think having my mom tell me that I'm part of the top 10 was the most emotional thing ever. We share everything. Just to see her be so proud is a full, it means everything. Oh, I really think I will be the next presenter. The judges saw something in me. I brought something different. And fingers crossed, let's see what South Africa thinks. Well, I call her a golden goddess. Jamie, how excited is your family that you've made it to the top 10? They are beyond words. Like, I can't even imagine. Just seeing everything, it's like, ah, oh, it's full circle. Oh, gotta love it. Tundo, this glow is real. I mean, I remember her so well. Again, she entered and lit up the entire room. You're also a single mom, which makes you so relatable to so many South African women. Uh, I think you're going to
going to be a fantastic addition as well to the show. I oh. wish you all could just, can't they all? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's find out who else made it through to the top 10. Representing Port Elizabeth, Tato Moshweshwe is a third year B.Ed. student at Nelson Mandela University and part-time presenter at a local community TV station. She'll be studying now, but look at me. You know, immediately after I was rejected from Presenter Search last year, I decided, let me go and find some experience, you know. I host a show every Fridays, it's called Boys Night. Basically, we look at the lifestyle of gentlemen from their professional time till their downtime. You know, we get to chill in some of the most amazing spots where we know good tea. I'm a Jida, I mostly found. Tato, can you please uh, look at camera number two? Okay, on this one. I think Tato would be the perfect addition for Expresso. With that energy in the morning, definitely everyone at home would actually want to wake up and, you know, see such energy and a face on TV. So it'd be a great addition to the guys that we've got already on the show. Tato, stand by. We're going to be rolling and in three, two, one. Good evening, beautiful people. This is your boy, T-H-A-T-O, Tato Ngonamoshesh, and this is what's coming up on Boys Night tonight. How your boy, T-H-A-T-O, made it into the top 10 of presenter search on three. No! I you live for you! Are you living for you? No! <laughs> Are you living for real? Well done. Well done. I'm feeling a lot of mixed emotions. I don't know how to explain it. I never really expected to find it like this. I was, I was expecting a text or a call or some email to say you've made it. Bye, an auto cue. Bye, come on, guys. Aye, aye, aye. So um, I'm pretty excited for the journey and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to growing, but most importantly, taking that Expresso show. I trust that you're having a great evening, of course. You know what, I'm excited to have him in the top 10, but actually, between the two of us, I'm not quite sure if I really want him to make it to the top two, because I don't know what I'm going to do if I lose him here. Like, I honestly don't know what's going to well, happen. if you lose him, we gain him. Tato, you made it, baby Whoa! boy. Wow. Whoa! How excited are you to be here? I'm very excited. I feel like someone's going to wake me up and say, I went out. This is a dream. No. Touch it. It's real. <laughs> it's happening. Oh, my God. It is happening. <laughs> Catch it. Right. Tato. Age ain't nothing but a number. You are the youngest contestant here. But we reckon you'd be a really great voice for the youth of Express. And also just really cool to see the way you've progressed throughout the show from the beginning. And look at you now, son. Shining, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've made it halfway there. And with five more contestants to be revealed, who do you think will make it all the way through to the top 10? You can let us know on social media using the hashtag presenter search on three. We'll see you right back after the break. It's your time to shine with Presenter Search on 3 and Orbit Gum. You're back with Presenter Search on 3, the Espresso edition. Now, in the first of the audition rounds, Cape Town definitely brought the fire. But one hopeful impressed the judges so much that she earned herself a spot directly to the top 10. <laughs> Oweto Nodada from Somerset West is a wife and mother of two. Not only has she made the top 10 for presenter search on three, but she's also a finalist in the 2019 Tammy Taylor Mrs. South Africa competition. Oh my goodness, it was an out of body experience. Literally when Leanne said my name, my heart was beating so fast. The excitement and just also understanding that this is the start of something that's incredibly big. It's the start of a new life essentially. Whatever happens, my life will never be the same. Oletu is very outgoing. She's very bubbly. She's also quite expressive. Um, she knows what to say and how to convey a point without thinking about it. You don't want to be in an argument or in a debate with her. You know, she'll wipe the floor with you. you know, so, so, yeah, so I, I'm always on the receiving end of that. When Lita and I have a disagreement, he often stops me midway to say, look, this is not a debate. So <laughs> you don't need a rebuttal for everything. And he walks away. So that's how I always win. <laughs> 
So I've just started a brand new career in real estate. Property has always been something that absolutely fascinated me. My previous job had me interacting with a lot of people in property and I always thought maybe because of my skills in terms of my interpersonal skills, I love, love talking to people. I think I relate well with people. Uh, so it was an easy transition. I mean, I was a marketer for the past eight years of, of my professional career. So the move into selling homes and selling people their new starts is something that is a complete fit for me. I'm super, super busy and I need to stay fit. So the trick for me is I needed to find a place that combined health, fitness and a little bit of science. So I found the perfect trick once a week. 20 minute sessions which equate to like a two hour session at the gym. I literally break a sweat. Dola too thinks she's got a lot of depth in her, um, in, in how she views the world and in how she challenges herself. She's very genuine in her approach. For this kind of platform, her authenticity and genuity will come across and people love her. I'm here to bring you a lot of Tosa Spunk, uh, some fabulosity, I love everything pretty and glamorous, and some relatability as well. My passion and excitement for this country is absolutely gonna show. I'm absolutely you no know, walkover. I'm nice, but not a pushover. So competition out there, better watch out. This Tosa Queen is coming for the win. Yeah. She was the first to make it through to the top 10, and you're here, baby girl, well done. Oh, how do you feel? Oh my goodness, so excited. It's wow. completely unreal still, but I mean, meeting all the competition, now you feel like like, okay, let's go. I love it. She is absolutely glowing. Dr. Musa, how do you feel about all wet you? So look, I'm glad that she says it feels like a competition from because from day one, that's what yeah. she did. She went in there and went in for the win, and that's how she, I mean, got the ticket for right through to yeah. the top ten. Uh, so we were very excited about you. We're very happy that you were in the top ten. And all I can say is keep being a busybody, because that's how you do it. Yeah. That's how you do it indeed. Let's find out who else made it to the top ten. I want you to take me right now. Sama nominated pop singer Jared Ricketts from Cape Town is best known for his smooth singing voice. But now he plans to step out from behind the microphone and in front of the camera. I feel a bit tearful now, but I've got I've got to say that out of millions I chose you and I want to say that out of lots thousands of people You've just made the top 10 now. She said it, it, it's as though the room became bigger and I became smaller. I actually didn't realize what happened. And then she said it again and I just went, yes. I'm in, I'm in the top 10, what? Anybody started screaming, it was a crazy moment, but really exciting. Huh? Oh my God. Congratulations, how did you know? Wait, how did you know? No, you didn't. <laughs> Jared, I think, was completely stunned. First words out of his mouth was, who told you? <laughs> so um, he's usually someone that has lots of words, and for this moment, he was a bit lost. So I'm sure he's excited and nervous at the same time. I said you to make it. I'm going to remember this moment for the rest of my life. I mean, the fact that I'm getting closer to my dream, and my mom got to tell me, and my friends and my family were around. It's such a special moment, and um, no, I, I think this will be one of those things I look back on and go, hey, that's where it all started. I am so proud of Jared, and I hope that he gets this, because he's hardworking, and he really, really deserves this. <sighs> <laughs> Good luck, Jared, and know that you can do this and go all the way with your hard work and passion, and I'll be rooting for you all the way. Wow, I think I'm just going to try and do my best at every challenge. I'm going to uh, show people what I can do. I'm, I pull out all the stops, hey? Uh, I'm, I'm ready, I'm, I'm, I'm able and I'm ready, so I'm going to do this. Well, the emotions are running high in studio, Jared. That, that hit you in the field, it, huh? It did. You know, this means a lot to me. I, I, this is a big change, um, being a singer and wanting to try this out. This has been a dream of mine for so long. And to be standing in front of all of you, I'm just grateful that you saw something. And we're here. We are we're definitely here. here. Tanda, <laughs> what was it that you saw in Jerry? I mean, Sama nominated musician, <laughs> tune, TV star. Come on. You can just see the passion that comes out of you and how hard you worked to actually get you. So we, we absolutely loved you. Wow, definitely loved you. Are you at home ready to see who else made it through to the top 10? Well, here we go. Mfe DC Sindani is a finance student at WITS and in his spare time dabbles as a model and stylist. 
type of styling that I do is a corporate type of styling. I started doing it because I realized that people are always ready with the dream, but they don't know how to look the part. So I decided to start doing it because I want people to feel good. Like and when you're wearing a suit, whether you're going to matric dance, whether you're going to your graduation, I just put people in suits that make them feel like the dapper man, like the modern dapper man. So I entered Presenter Session 3 because it's, it's a dream for me. Um, it's very seldom that people find their purpose very early in life, and I think I'm one of those people. It, it marries into everything else that I do. I like making people feel good. And I realized that my platform is television. And I mean, if I can wake South Africa up every single morning and put a smile on their faces, I change millions of mornings. Growing up in Middleburg was very interesting. I mean, I look up the street, I look down the street. I just get a flush and a rush of memories. And the reminiscing just brings a warm feeling to my heart. Can I say this national television? Well, we gossip. Uh, me and my mother gossip a lot of the time. And it was while gossiping with his mom and his family that Mkarisi got the good news that he had made the top 10. Mina, somebody called me. A little baby told me. <laughs> Obutuena, you did it! Once he puts his mind on something, then he makes sure that he gets it right. I remember he was five, and he said, I want a suit. And I said, such a young child with a suit. And he says, if young children do not wear suits, why do they make it? And I was... Surprised, and I said, Okay, let us go and get it. So he was that type of a child. If he wants something, he wants it. My mother telling me that I was in the top 10 was honestly the last thing I expected. I mean, we enter these competitions and we think, Yeah, I'm ready. This is my time. It's finally here. And then it happens, and they say, Hey, you're in the top 10. You're like, What? Me? Me? Really? I was shocked. I was surprised, but it felt good. <laughs> so moving forward, going for the jugular, going in. And I think people should vote for me because, I mean, why would you not want to smile every single morning? Why? I love how we got all the moms to help us make dreams come true. So, DC, you are here. How does it feel? It's an out-of-body experience. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's me. I, I, I can't believe it. Really, I can't. <laughs> well, the judges can. <laughs> what do you think of Mkladisi? Mm, the show, it's a, there's a variety of topics. The presenters have to be able to do a variety of things. So it's not just about being funny and being wacky. You also yeah. have a sincere warmth about you. You're genuine. And we saw in some of the sessions we had with you, you can think on your feet, you can improvise. That's really cool. We really dig you. Plus, he looks really good as well. That yeah. helps. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, make sure you join the fun on social media using the hashtag presenter search on three. Which of the top 10 finalists do you think will be the best fit for Expresso? Now, we've got two more to reveal, so don't go anywhere. Presenter search on three, the Expresso edition. We'll be back right after this. It's your time to shine with presenter search on three and Orbit Gum. And you're back with Presenter Search on 3, the Espresso edition. So far tonight, we've met one finalist from Durban, but during the audition phase, another hopeful caught the judges' eyes. Radio personality and YouTuber Tandi Zistom Shlongo showed up and slayed at the Durban auditions, earning herself a spot directly in the top 10. Tandi Tandi Zistom Klongo from Durban is a radio personality and YouTuber with a passion for social media and digital marketing. Okay, my love for radio is deep, like it's ocean deep, river wide. The show that I do is called The Mid Morning Hangout. I hosted with a guy called Kulegan Mbambo. I named him Daddy Cools because he's the coolest daddy on radio. And uh, it's a feel good show, you know, it's, it's all about just lifting your spirits and making you laugh and just making sure that you get through your morning just that little bit better. I think she'll be an awesome TV host because she thinks on her feet. She's very creative. She breeds life to content. She's one of the people that I think can be really outstanding on the show. I think it's just a natural progression of where I'm going and that's how it would help me. It's just what I do every day, all day, and that's what I love. Zisto lights up any room she walks in. She's beautiful and she's just spunky. She can do this. She can practically look at a script for 10 minutes, kill it and make it her own. She can even present while sleeping. 
And the first time I saw myself in front of a camera was probably a phone camera. The, the new phones and the video technology and I was like, wait a whole minute, does that me? Talking to myself and stuff like that and I was like, yeah, this is it. This is it. Well, this is my mother, uh, Linda Mklongo. She is amazing, you know. I remember when we first moved in at home, we had nothing. You know, and slowly with the years, she just made it happen. And like, how can I not make it happen if I have that as an inspiration? Do you know what I mean? So she doesn't know that I appreciate her, but I appreciate her. Tandy is very energetic. She's a go-getter. Even at, when she was still young, she used to stand in front of the mirror. She likes presenting. She'll be absolutely amazing because it's something that Zisto does every single day. You know, she's on live radio, so she takes direction well. She knows how to improvise. Uh, she's also very good with creating content. So I think that's the reason that she's going to do absolutely amazing. What I would bring is a lot of heart, a lot of passion, a lot of energy, and some of that Zisto magic. Heart, passion, energy, definitely things to be a good presenter. How excited are you to be here, Tani? Girl, I dream really big and yeah. I work really hard at those dreams and that's what got me here. So I'm excited, I'm ready to grow, learn and to shine. To shine indeed. Dr. Musa, did she shine for you? She did. So I personally wasn't in Durban, mm. but I made sure that I watched the video footage of just course. to see mm. that these day. guys were not embarrassing mm. me. Mm. All right, but uh, I'm mm. very happy with the choice that we had made and uh, good luck okay. and rock them. I think she's going to rock them. Let's find out who else is going to rock the top 10. Hashtag present the search on three. There is something quite magical, mm. but like that it was so good. Twin sisters from Durban, Pretty and Precious Zondo may look alike, but have very different careers. Pretty is a professional chef and Precious works in finance. If I get a call that I made it through to the top 10 and my sister doesn't, uh, I would actually feel bad because I know how she badly wants this. If she goes through and I don't, I'd feel a bit sad for myself because uh, we've been a tech team. I don't know, but whatever happens, happens, and I will wish her all the best, but I know for sure she will feel bad as well if she goes and I, I stay. It's better having one than not having any of us at all. So I've known Pretty and Precious for 11 years now. We've been very, very close. This is like my second home. Back then, I think I knew that from the start they loved presenting. And with that small phone that I had, I used to take like mini videos of them doing presenting. So from back then, I knew that they, they, it's a passion, something that they always wanted to do. So what are we doing tonight? Maybe ice cream night. I was thinking a few drinks. Oh wow, only me and you can go tonight because pretty needs to pay for Cape Town. Could she said that top 10? How? What? Really? <laughs> You're lying, you're in the top lane. <laughs> <laughs> I was told you the only one. <laughs> is that better? One of you is pretty and one of you is together, but together you're pretty precious. My republic energy. The time could be. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I was told she's the one that made it. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, sister. I'm so jealous. I felt the same way, but I had to pretend I'm strong as so always. So you knew that. I thought you were the only one, you know. The director told me, okay, say, okay, I must break the news to you. And, and he said I must break the news to you. <gasps> so we were trapped. Yes! <laughs> it's a good thing now. Drink tonight. <laughs> All right, Tuzanti, this is what you guys are going to be seeing every single morning. Pretty precious, everybody. <laughs> the two of you are a whole vibe. I love you. How do you feel to be here? I'm very much excited, and uh, we are a step closer to our dreams. So. I love it. Mm. Well, let's find out from our judges. Do you love Double Trouble oh as gosh, much as I do, Tando? Do it again. Do and, it again. Uh, please, can, I do wish I could do that. Do I wish I could do I'm pretty and I'm precious, and together we're pretty precious. <laughs> Come on, for those who didn't see it. All right. I'm pretty and I'm precious. And we are the Pretty, pretty Precious, precious Twins. <laughs> We loved you guys, loved yeah. you, and all of South Africa loved them uh, when we watched the episode 
literally everyone couldn't stop raving about you. Congratulations. Thank you so Thank much. You. Well, we are certainly loving it. Now, Tandy, or Wetu, and the twins have all gone with their natural hair since joining the top 10 for Pretty and Precious. This is the first time that they've actually shown off their natural hair to the world. Presenter Search on 3 is all about embracing your authentic self. So let's see how they got their new looks. I'm excited about the new look because I don't know how I'm going to look and I hope I don't look as close to like how she looks so I what do you mean by that because like, I want to look different I then, cut your hair. then cut your I'm hair I'm not going to cut my hair girl you should cut your hair no I'm not going to cut my hair you should cut your hair no so I, I don't think, think I'll cut my hair <laughs> but yeah we'll see what happens <laughs> your hair is so beautiful Today they're going to give me a bit of a natural look, so I'm excited about that. And every girl loves a glam session, so I couldn't say no to this session. Um, I'm just picturing my hair because I actually want to go natural because I mean it's hot, it's summer, so I know that that's going to look amazing because I know what I look like with short hair. For Tandy, we did a mock violet purple enhancer. She was very adventurous doing it and that was quite exciting to do because normally they not okay playing around with color that's that drastic and I mean she just looks well with it. So makeover is always like a major confidence boost. You literally feel like you are reinvented. So I'm feeling pretty bold stepping into the rest of the competition. Uh, I think if I can take my hair being chopped off, I can take anything going forward. And it's the first time going natural, like first time ever. And I think now people will get to see the real eyes. The forehead is out, the dimples are out. It's like, I feel different, like I feel new. And I am super excited with the final product because it looks amazing. South Africa, there you have it, your top 10 from Presenter Search on 3 Espresso Edition. But looking gorgeous. Now the contestants, it's your time to shine, but before the competition can begin, they had to get their first taste of life in the spotlight. Welcome contestants, you all look amazing. Nothing boosts the confidence quite like a makeover, yeah? <laughs> and now that you're all TV ready, there's just one more thing left to do. Your first professional photo shoot! Come on, yes! <laughs> and to get you all looking your best, we've got old Kaki on site to give you a bit of a style update. Look, when the answer that we're having our own photo shoot, and I got very excited, a little bit nervous because I deem myself quite awkward in front of a camera when it comes to posing. But um, I'm excited to see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. Ooh, professional photo shoot. Come on. Top 10 photo shoot. I thought, show me the camera. Where? Where do I smile? Old Cock is a South African brand, and this year they're celebrating their 20th birthday. And what better way to celebrate than to style young, upcoming South African stars? I love the hair, and I've got just the right jacket to complete your look. I like it. I've done this quite a few times, you know, photo shoots are my thing. <laughs> Not really, but I've done TV because I have a YouTube channel. It just doesn't get easier, you know, you just get used to it. That's the thing. But I'm excited. I know I'm going to look amazing because the team is great. Uh, I didn't actually see the pictures. I just saw them briefly in passing. I just don't want to dwell on my... I think it's a bit narcissistic. I don't know. But I do take a lot of selfies and I know it's going to look good because I look good. It was fantastic. It felt like a dream. She looked very gorgeous. We're used to taking pictures, uh, especially for Instagram. Yeah, but this is like the first time where we had to take professional pictures, lights, camera, action, face beats. When I saw myself on that screen, I felt like I'm God's favorite child. Do you see how good I looked? <laughs> then I looked, I looked, yeah, and I, I knew I looked good, but when I saw myself there, then I was like, dude, what a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> the experience for me was mind-blowing. Uh, I asked for a song to be played so I could get into the groove. I just felt playful. I felt at home in front of the camera and in studio. Uh, Dean, you know the drill. 
so they keep making me take my shirt off. And today was another day. Uh, it's quite uh, funny though, because it seems like uh, that whole uh, flex and smile thing has gone to next level. <laughs> I love the photos that I saw today. They've actually seen, uh, taken a bit of my serious side and they've taken a bit of a smiley side. So I don't know which ones they're gonna use. So I'm quite keen to see what comes out. An accessory to finish off this look. Look at that. Thank you. I loved my photos today. It was so natural and so real and she got all aspects of me serious and happy face and then, you know, feisty and sassy and confident. Okay guys, stop being so serious. Let's have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> Standing next to the Anne in the group photo should definitely give me some brownie points. Uh, I mean, I was able to say certain things to her, you know, and she was able to joke with me back. So hopefully the viewers see that and they see that there's a bit of co-presenting that could happen. That was fun. Um, I didn't expect to be put in a, a little uh, Dean and Nate sandwich. Leanne was like right down the middle, but that was cool. That was a, a fun group shot, man. I had a lot of fun. I think at the end of the day, when you realize this is it, we are done, it's now competition time, the heart beats a little bit faster, you know, you're chasing your dreams ultimately, so I'm feeling anxious, determined, and ready to get started. Cake is my favorite, and I definitely do love a slice of cake, and guess what, McCafe got us sorted. Loretta and I were always having a good time, we were always finding a silly moment, and when I got to feed her cake and see her enjoy eating and cake, just, it made me feel happy because she was happy, and it looked so delicious, I wanted to steal a bite, but she ate it all. TV ready and professionally styled, the finalists are ready to take on the competition. But if you thought that was it for today, it's not over yet because we have one more twist reveal that is going to be a game changer. And while you sit and enjoy their suspense, I'll be having a great cup of coffee. Simple. Only the highest grade 100% Arabica beans. Great coffee, simple. And you're back with Presenter Search on 3, the Espresso Edition. And if you thought this competition was going to be a straightforward one, then you have another thing coming. It's not just about the top 10 impressing the judges, because at the end of the day, you, the viewer, are the ultimate judge. Now, this is your time to shine, because Orbit Gum is giving you the opportunity to give one of four hopefuls who didn't make it to the top 10, a chance to enter back into the competition as the viewer's choice. Now you can do this by voting for them on a Twitter poll, which will be running for one week starting today. All you have to do is simply head to twitter.com forward slash be found on three, where the poll will be visible for the next week. Each one of these contestants auditioned in the first round, and now they have one more time to shine. Let's meet our first viewer's voice choice. Zenande Makina from Johannesburg is a radio presenter and YouTuber. My name is Zenande Makina. I'm a small town girl from King Williamstown who packed her bags to move to the big bad city, which is Johannesburg. I'm an on-air personality. I'm part of a digital marketing agency and I also have a YouTube channel all about conversations. So I'm a girl who's always been into sport. I think it's the competitive spirit within me. And so I tried boxing and I fell in love with it because one of the principles that boxing teaches you is to keep moving. No matter how tired you are, you just keep moving, you keep moving. I feel like that's a principle that I can apply in life even, just to keep on moving. Radio is a big part of my life. I've been in it since I was 11 years old. And then taking that love of having conversations and moving to YouTube, my YouTube channel is literally all about having conversations. Conversations. It's having people on my channel, talking and uh, growing from their opinions. It's truly about your personality. And being part of a show like The Expresso Show, which is a morning show where people want to relate with you, they just want to be your friend, it needs that genuine somebody. And I feel like I'm that genuine somebody who truly is relatable. And I feel like I am friendly. Like, don't you want to be my friend? <laughs> and also, I'm boss. Come on, vote for me. Or else. Zinanda, everybody! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> how, do you have, how do you feel to have made it through? I'm really excited, but yeah. all I'm thinking now is it's time to work, it's time to yes. fight. The fighter in me wants to fight and wants to work. Oh, well, take your seat, baby girl. Thank Let's you. Let's meet our second viewer's choice hopeful. 
Danny Gusselli from Durban is a weekend radio host and professional dancer. To Top 40, my name's Danny Gazzelli. Right up to the lyrics, why not? Let's have a good one together. My name is Danny Gazzelli, I'm a radio presenter, I'm a professional dancer and the reason I entered SABC Presenter Search is because I want to pursue this career man, it's something I love, it's something in my blood and I want this badly, trust me. So I entered last year and to be honest it wasn't a great audition, yes I had a good dance with Jeannie, uh, but I really didn't feel it, I didn't feel confident, I walked out of there and I was like, you know, this isn't right for me, but this year I feel it's my year, I've grown on my own personal capacity, I'm doing well on radio and hopefully I have the confidence just to push a little bit further. Make it to the top, hopefully. Always great to be with you, counting down the top 40 songs from around the world. You know, on my radio show, I have the ability to make people laugh, change their day around. Maybe they've tripped over the cat, had a fight with the missus, and all of a sudden, I've said something to make them smile. I know I can do the same on TV. I have the ability to think of my feet, ad-lib, make the most of every opportunity. And you know what? At the end of the day, I'm there to have fun. My name's Danny Gazzelli. Vote for me, please. I really need to be your next Expresso presenter. Daddy! Awesome. What a surprise. How happy are you to have oh, made it through? I woke up in Durban this morning. Yeah. All of a sudden, I'm in Cape Town. What a joy. I'm amazed. That's how we do. Let's take a seat. Thank you. Are you ready to meet our next viewer's choice hopeful? Well, here we go. Kudle Adams, who lives in Joburg, is a UCT graduate and TV presenter. I'm Gusha Adams, Sipiwa Gusha in four, which means we've been given a beautiful right. gift. You're welcome. A 23-year-old young woman, born and bred in Port Elizabeth. I studied and graduated from the University of Cape Town. Although I studied a Bachelor of Social Sciences degree, I believe that presenting is something that I was born to do. Broadcasting is something that I was born to do. So that's why I decided after graduation, I'm telling my mom, listen, I'm taking a break from academics and work and I am fully investing myself in this craft. I don't want to be in the future and look back and think, ah, oh, I could have done that. I should have done that. I don't want to live with regrets. I bring my own personality, I bring my own sass, and I believe that with everything that I do, I make it look good. <laughs> You should vote for me because I believe I'd be the perfect addition to the Expresso family. Not only because I am talented, because of my personality and my love for broadcasting. Please do the right thing and make sure that I take it all the way to the top. Kushle, everybody! <laughs> Looking like a whole Beyonce oh, right Lena. now. <laughs> How are you doing, Leanne? I'm fabulous. How are you doing? I'm very excited, but something weighing heavily on my heart. The yeah. gender-based violence happening in South Africa, yeah. xenophobic attacks, people, the viewers at home, they can make a change and catalyze change by having conversations in, the, in their immediate spaces. But above and beyond all of that, I am excited and being the voice of the voiceless and a broadcaster with purpose. Oh, that's what you said, Leo. Yes. Give her a hand. <laughs> Well, don't go anywhere. Let's <laughs> find out who is our final viewer's choice contestant. You're amazing. You're the best dressed guy today. Oh, definitely. Tell my sister about that. Uh, <laughs> Rishen Pile is a music producer from Benoni in the East Rand. Yo, what's up? I'm Rishen Pile, aka World Class. I'm from Benoni in the East Rand, uh, and I'm a music producer. So I've always been inclined into the music industry at a very young age, um, and it just progressed over time. Um, and I just got. Uh, a little bit more involved into the music industry, working with a, a bunch of artists and uh, working with different sounds. Um, and they say it takes a long time, but uh, I mean, we're working day and night to, to get to that, to that dream, I guess. I don't As a producer, I'm very versatile in the music that I make. I'm currently working on a project with Cabin XX and Lil Trix on a hip hop track, whereas my previous release was a house track that got picked up by Black Coffee. And I guess that has been my highlight for 2019 and it's put me on the pinnacle of my career right now. I entered Presenter Search on 3 because I'm a people's person and I like engaging with people. And I believe that with TV, I could connect a little bit more than just by my music. South Africa, you should vote for me because as an artist, I have the ability to pull things from the invisible world and manifest it into the physical world. And that's why I'm your best choice as a presenter. Rashan, everybody! <laughs> so, did you get better looking as time went by, <laughs> hey? What has happened? Well, um, very excited. I can't say I'm 
well, I am surprised, yeah. uh, but more excited, I guess. Wow. We yeah. are very excited for you. Thank Congratulations. You. <laughs> These are your top four viewers' choice hopefuls. And of course, they are vying for your votes on the Twitter poll. So head over to twitter.com forward slash be found on three right now. Simply click to vote for the contestant that you want in the competition. The contestants with the most votes by midnight next Tuesday will join the top 10 for presenter search on three, the Expresso edition. This is your time to shine viewers, so make sure you make your vote count. And to catch more presenter search on three action, make sure that you head over to our Facebook page just after the show for an exclusive post show interview with the judges and viewers Choice contestants, which will be streaming live on Facebook tonight. But for now, I'm going to say a bigger night and one more time our top 10 and our viewers' choice contestants. We love you, South Africa! <laughs> Tell us who you would like to see join the presenter search on three top 10. Is it radio presenter and entrepreneur Danny Gaselli? Musician and advertising agent Rashen Pillay, TV presenter and MC Kutle Adams, or boxer and radio presenter Zanande Makina. Vote for your favorite on the presenter search on three viewers' choice Twitter poll on twitter.com forward slash be found on three. T's and C's apply and can be found on presenter search on three.com. Another feel-good production.